and welcome to Inside Shore Up. This is a brand new show on PAC 14 TV, and it's all about the Community Action Agency, Shore Up Incorporated. I'm your host, Tamika Keenan Norman, Chief Development and Communications Officer for Shore Up. And I encourage you to check out a new show each month as we talk about the services and new initiatives at the agency. And you'll find that most of those are beneficial to either you, your friends, or your family. And I'm sure you've heard about Shore Up Incorporated. We've been around since 1965, and I bet you don't know about all the different things that we do within the community. So here to talk more about that is our executive director, Mr. Freddie Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, thank you so much for being a part of the show today, part of Inside Shore Up. Thank you, Tamika, and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, let's talk, if you'll start with telling us a little bit about the mission of Shore Up, what's your purpose within the community and who do you help? Okay, uh, Shore Up is a community action agency established in 1965 for the purpose of aiding and in developing solutions and problems of low income people and their communities. Shore Up is an acronym for self-help on rural economic and urban problems. The mission of Shore Up is to revitalize communities and empower individuals and families to maintain long-term independence and achieve economic security. We serve parents, children, families, in fact, the whole family, to help them become stable and achieve economic security. Okay, so about how many people would you say you help annually, Mr. Benjamin? Okay, to uh, carry out our mission, we continue to provide an integrated holistic service delivery system to over 15,000 families and communities in Wacomico, Worcester, Somerset, and Queen Anne's County. And we provide a limited amount of services uh, to families in Dorchester, Torben, and uh, Kent County. That's a lot of people in a lot of counties. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that <I> know. <laughs> yeah, but tell me a little bit about history because I mentioned a community action agency and everybody might not know what that is. So tell us a little bit about what a community action agency is. And they were actually started at the federal level a year before we started in 1964. Okay, um, sh community action came out of the President Lyndon B. Johnson's war on poverty. And from that, it was all from the advocacy of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, it was established with the Economic Act, Opportunity Act of 1964, which later became the Community Services Block Grant. And uh, within this act, it created community action networks of national and locally focused organizations that connect millions of children and families to great opportunity. The nation's community action agencies embody our nation's spirit of hope, change people's lives, and improve communities. Okay, so great history. I want to talk a little bit about the services that Shore provides as well, because one of the things I love is that we have so many different goals. And when you look at them broadly, we talk about education and employment, of course, housing, uh, health care, and family support. So let's start with education. What are some of the services that you provide under the umbrella of education? Okay, uh, we provide the foundational knowledge. And one of our biggest programs is Head Start and uh, early Head Start uh, programs. And they, these programs are uh, from birth to age five. And we provide the children with developmental and nutritional needs and prepare them for kindergarten. Basically prepare them so they're ready to enter school, ready to learn. Our Head Start program is located in all of the seven counties that I uh, mentioned earlier. And the unique comp component of our Head Start program is that we've worked with the entire family. We help them deal with issues like health and nutrition, single parenting, illiteracy, homelessness, et cetera. For example, we offer an active parenting cu curriculum that teaches parents the skills they need to better uh, support the growth and development of their children. If a parent needs a GED, we provide GED prep courses. Uh, we work with uh, families on establishing goals and help them to achieve those goals. And, and speaking of families, um, one significant thing is that you help families with eliminating intergenerational poverty, and that's done through your family support systems. So talk a little bit about those services offered under family support. Okay, we provide a two-generation, a whole family, of, uh, which is children, parents, and families, 
Uh, we have uh, this approach to sister families in com combating intergenerational poverty by promoting and supporting a means to help these families charter a path to economic security and mobility. We offer the GED prep classes. We aid uh, individuals in finding employment. If you're interested in getting a commercial driver's license, I may become a, a certified nurse assistant, a CNA. Uh, we'll work with them to get those classes that they need and to help uh, obtain the certification. Uh, there's also a financial literacy component attached to this program. As a part of family support, we also provide free tax preparation services. If you make uh, less than $57,000 annually, you can get your taxes prepared by our agency free. Okay, so we know you have to have a good skill set in order to obtain employment, Mr. Mitchell, but after you gain that skill set, after you get that education, how does Shore Up help you to find a job that offers a good wages and good benefits? The biggest thing for us is establishing partnerships uh, because we work, uh, as an example, as a matter of fact, we work with uh, Warwick Community Colleges so that our participants can receive a certified nursing assistant certification or CNA. And we work with the area nursing homes so that once they get the CNA, they can be placed in the facility as an employee. We also provide commercial driver's license training, which is a CDL. And we also uh, recently teamed up with the Department of Social Services. And through this partnership, uh, DSS will refer uh, their participants to us. Uh, an example would be that they will send us uh, eligible clients uh, for family, fin financial literacy and GED prep classes. And we send our clients to them for job readiness training. Uh, this partnership is not about directly employment but it does provide more skill sets to prepare them for employment. Okay. And, and I wanna step aside from employment for just a moment and talk about housing because that, that's another big component of the agency, finding decent and affordable housing. So say that I want to find, find a new home, how will Shore Up help? We aid families in finding uh, major goals, decent and affordable housing. And uh, we have certified housing counselors who assist with budget and credit counseling uh, to help the family set the goals, track spending, improve their credit. We offer pre-purchase and first home buyers uh, education as well as post-purchase education. Uh, it helps them to maintain the home and maintain and manage their finances after purchasing their home. Uh, also under the umbrella of housing, we help with the energy assistance um, are paying their current and delinquent utilities. And we want to ensure that we have the lowest energy cost that are possible for the families. Therefore, we provide weatherization services, which uh, repairs and improve the home uh, to stop heat loss and ultimately lower their energy bills. Okay. And, and that final goal that I mentioned a little bit earlier is of course healthcare. We wanna make sure we're there for the advancement of healthcare, especially when you talk about the elderly, um, those who are suffering from disabilities. Talk a little bit about healthcare and how SHORP helps, helps with that advancement of healthcare. In the area of healthcare, uh, we provide medical supervision, example, at our uh, adult daycare centers. And uh, even though the center to the Shady Pine is closed because of uh, COVID, we do such things as maintain a relationship or contact with those families on a daily basis. Uh, we also have residential services. And uh, within this program, we go into the client homes. Uh, those are that are homebound. And uh, we feed them, dress them, do light housekeeping, prepare meals. Uh, mostly, as the word says, we provide personal care to those families. Uh, individuals. We provide health and mental health assistance and we provide nutrition meals to the children in our Head Start and early Head Start. Uh, Head Start uh, centers are reopened, even though uh, we have the problem with COVID. But during that period, uh, for instance, we provided uh, remote learning with our children. And uh, we also offered uh, a meal truck. We provide uh, meals of uh, food to them. Uh, during the period, and we do home delivery meals to those families. Um, and each of our centers, that's the adult daycare, Head Start, Early Head Start, 
we uh, provide a healthy breakfast, lunch, and snack. And all is about maintaining that healthy uh, environment in the home. Well, great. That, that's a lot of different services um, that Shore Up offers. And I was really impressed by that when I started working at the agency a little over a year ago. And I was also impressed at the fact that um, you've been with the agency for what, what is it, 51 years now? <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Well, I, I'm telling you, you must know everything about it, but tell me how the community, how you feel Shore Up and the community has progressed in those 51 years. And where do you see community action agencies in the next, say, five to 10 years? And of course, you know, from uh, 1965 to present, we didn't start off with all of these different services. And uh, we, we do uh, in-depth community needs assessment. And out of this assessment, that's why we ended up with all these different types of services and programs families because there are gaps within the, our community and there are a big need within the community. So we have grown to this level because of the needs within the community. But to really make it simple, we would like to just convict, to continue to envision communities where individuals and families have the opportunities and the resources to live with dignity and achieve their fullest potential. That is our desire going forward. Thank you so much, Mr. Mitchell, for joining us today. Kudos to you and the entire staff of Shore Up, of course, the board of directors as well. And to our viewers, we thank you for uh, tuning in as well. And hopefully you heard about some services that are beneficial to you, your friends, or your family. And if you want to know more about Shore Up, you can visit our website at shoreup.org. You can call us at 410-749-1142. And you can also find us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Tamika Keenan-Norman.